He is one of the most charismatic wildlife adventurers on the planet. From Letterman to Good Morning America, Jack Hanna spreads his passion for conservation through education. And this week, Action News 4's Sally Wigan caught up with him right here in Pittsburgh, where he has a very special connection. I love to tell the viewers about how it was when I came through that tunnel out in Pittsburgh and saw the big old steel mills fire. I about got scared and went back home. Home was a farm in Knoxville, Tennessee. This night, Jack Hanna was surrounded by alums from his destination that day in 1963, the Kiskey School in Salzburg. My years in Pittsburgh and at Salzburg were the greatest of my life. It changed my life, basically. It is a life that has taken him around the world as he hosts several wildlife shows. This show with his wife, shown on WTAE TV. Oh. His regular guest appearances also include The Letterman Show and Good Morning America. Every show I do, Good Morning America and all those seven or eight shows I do, everyone has a different audience. And so I try and talk to that audience. And as the director emeritus of Ohio's Columbus Zoo, Hannah's message has been the same. Touch the heart to teach the mind. He believes that is the mission of zoos. How do you learn to say something unless you love something? That's again what we practice at our zoo, many zoos throughout this country, like in Pittsburgh. They practice that to bring people there so they can see what an elephant is, a giraffe, a hippo. He also brings the animals to us, like this two-toed sloth at the Pittsburgh fundraiser for the wilds. The wilds is a 10,000-acre conservation center and safari park. Two hours from Pittsburgh, it has the largest rhino herd outside of Africa. We see a great benefit in something like the wilds because we want a lot of zoos, a lot of zoos to participate with breeding programs. Sustainability is our, our the issue we have in zoos now. And education. The number one purpose, I think, of any zoological park or aquarium in this country is education. Yes, conservation is involved. But unless someone's educated, you can't have conservation. Some of what you learn is sobering. The Wilds Rhino program is crucial since Hannah says one rhino is killed every eight hours for its horn, which is mistakenly and tragically believed to have medicinal properties. But there are lighter moments. This is a little kangaroo called a joy. And plenty of humor. And this is a female, right? I think it is. I ain't checked. <laughs> is it? Well, it looks like it to me. It's never boring with Jack Hanna. Sally Wigan, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.